Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, neurologist from Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. If a person comes with one-sided weakness, hemiplegia, there is weakness on examination, there is increased reflexes on examination, it is hemiplegia. We diagnose it easily. But imagine a person as a phenomenon of attention-seeking behavior or for the reasons best known to him is feigning illness acts as though he's got weakness on one side a non-organic weakness on one side a non-organic hemiparesis a functional hemiparesis then how are we going to diagnose such strange disorders of feigning illness non-organic illness so a person comes acting as though he's got weakness but truly does not have weakness but he pretends to have weakness then how are we going to trick the patient and find out he is not actually having the true weakness he is not actually having organic weakness it is only a false or functional weakness so how are we going to diagnose this non-organic weakness we can diagnose this non-organic weakness by a sign known as who was sign by who was sign we can diagnose non-organic weakness it is based on the principle of associated movements but what is associated movement we will consider it with the example of walking when we walk example when i take my right leg forwards my left leg automatically moves backwards when i move my right leg forwards my left leg goes backwards and then when i move my left leg forwards my right leg moves backwards this is known as associated movement we classically see in walking so in walking for example if one leg example right side moves forwards the other leg example left side moves backwards so how are we going to diagnose this non organic weakness non organic weakness the persons having non organic weakness do not know about this associated movements they don't have medical knowledge to know this associated movements and therefore we take advantage of their lack of medical knowledge of associated movements so though they feign illness though they say they've got weakness they are not having weakness but they cannot control these associated movements so who was sign is based on the persons not being able to control these associated movements so who was sign is useful for evaluating the non organic weakness so how do we elicit this who was sign we ask the person to lie on the bed imagine he has got right sided weakness imagine he has got right sided weakness we ask him to lift the right leg upwards the person says he is not able to lift the right leg upwards because he has got weakness of the right side which is not true so what the examiner does he plays one hand on the supposed to be weak right leg and the other hand on the supposed to be normal leg downwards so when the patient is asked to lift the right leg upwards which is he says is weak he cannot but then he cannot control the associated movement the left leg goes downwards it extends downwards and the examiner is able to feel the 
pressure of the normal leg downwards. This indicates he is having non-organic weakness. We can test it the other way around also. This time we ask the to lift the supposed to be normal left leg upwards and the examiner places his hand on the supposed to be the other leg that is the right leg downwards. So the person is lifting the left leg upwards, his right leg is not weak, he is feigning. So he puts pressure on the supposed to be bad leg that is right leg downwards and the examiner will be able to feel the pressure. So when the examiner feels the pressure, that means the, pers the patient is acting. He is not having organic weakness. He is having non-organic weakness. So by who was sign, we will be able to confidently say that the person is having non-organic weakness. And this who was sign is based on the principle that the person, because of lack of medical knowledge, he does not know and he cannot control the associated movements. So wonderful sign who was sign by which we can differentiate organic weakness from non-organic weakness. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this wonderful Hoover's sign. If you have any suggestions or comments kindly post on to my YouTube channel but please like subscribe my YouTube channel Dr. Sinos Medical Concepts and my page Dr. Sinos Concepts. Thank you. Bye.